Well, estimates are that one wind technician is needed to service every 10 megawatts of wind generating capacity. That means in 2009 alone, as many as 700 new wind technicians were needed to keep pace with the installations of new wind turbines. Now to meet that demand, several Oklahoma schools are now offering courses in wind energy. Courtney Dioff takes us to Canadian Valley Technology Center in El Reno, where the only thing more unique than their curriculum is where it's being taught. The winds of change are blowing in Oklahoma for energy workers in the wind energy industry, an industry that promises to provide a stable career for years to come. I'm still technically employed in the oil field, but we don't have a job. Uh, wind energy is, it seems, a lot more reliable in the future. Daniel Wilson is a student at Canadian Valley Tech Center and says why he decided to study to become a wind technician. Wind energy seems like a promising career for a lot of us, especially the jobs we've had aren't there anymore. They say it's not going away. Wilson and his classmates are part of the comprehensive class that focuses on training potential wind energy service personnel. We're going to uh, unharness him and then we're going to Classroom have to work that is not always in the classroom, says Canadian Valley Business Director Bill Halsey. These guys uh, uh, that will be going through this program will be climb qualified. They'll have uh, uh, all of the uh, industry standard uh, rescue training. Uh, they'll know how to get uh, out of the tower in case they have to. They'll know how to get their buddy out in case there's an issue. If there's a medical issue up turbine, they'll know how to get their team members out. They'll, uh, they'll have all of the qualifications that are, that are requested by the wind farm operators in the state of Oklahoma and surrounding states in order to get, uh, uh, get on the wind farms and do the work. Work that will be taught in full-size wind turbines erected right at the school. Cody Spikes is a wind energy consultant and helped get the project on its feet, a project he feels is crucial to the student's success. When a student leaves this program, they are equipped, they have experience because we have two towers. We have the one tower that we stood up today with the mock nacelle and that will be used for training. And then the second one uh, will be 126, 132 feet, somewhere around in there. And it will be used for climbing up and down and eventually produce electricity. Because they've not only got the certificates and the experience, you know, well, the certificates and the knowledge, but they're gaining the experience by actually climbing in a monotube tower. We're, we're real similar to what the wind industry is. We're just a little bit smaller scale. They're receiving full-scale training on that smaller scale, providing them with everything an employer is looking for. So you can see the way the industry has grown, and that's what we want to do is give guys a leg up, give them a fighting chance. You know, when they're standing there, it saves an employer money because they've got all the certificates. The employer does not have to pay for things like OSHA 30, first aid CPR, confined space, uh, we teach two forms of emergency egress. We teach a track till and a DBI solid roll glist. So, you know, arc flash, multimeter, things like that give them a leg up when they're rooting for a job when you got five guys trying to get the same one. And with the projected expansion, industry technicians like the ones in training in El Reno are crucial. A lot of wind farms have a repair crew and a maintenance crew. Your repair crew will be your more experienced technicians that will do more electrical high voltage work. And your maintenance crews will be the guys that are doing the day-to-day -day maintenance and service. Uh, it, it's a big machine, it's got a big gearbox, it's got a big generator, big main shaft. Everything needs to be greased regularly, torqued. Uh, there's filters that have to be changed. You've got hydraulic filters in some turbines, you've got oil filters and others. It's a, it's a daily grind of one, getting you and your equipment to the top. Uh, it's 250 feet for most turbines. Some of them are 300 feet and even if you're in shape it's still a workout. As the wind continues to blow and the industry keeps growing, the physically demanding work to keep turbines turning will continue to be taught in El Reno. And Courtney tells us the money used to purchase the nacelle comes from lottery funds provided by our state legislature.